You know, I said to myself one day, yeah, hey, you hear me? Like, I don't want to work for nobody. Fuck it, I'm gonna be a rapper, you hear me? Single, whatever you want to call it. I just knew one day I was gonna be my own boss and get my own. I wouldn't have to want for nothing. Work for nobody, no matter how I got it. Pushing that pack, I needed the max. Lord knows I watch my back. I ain't worried about no nigga, got it on my own. It's facts. If a bitch don't wanna fuck on me, it's right on to the next. Only worry about that green and that cream, I need the flex. Little ho, I don't want some sex. I just really want the neck. Like some odd shit, though. <laughs> All right, so we we here today. First episode, uh, Grind eighty eight. It's a little show podcast I got for the city of Louisiana, but we gonna branch out and go worldwide eventually. You know what I'm saying? I got my boys here with me today. I'm gonna let them go introduce themselves. Whoa, it's Diesel. What's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying it's your boy King Lee. Oh, it's, it's your, your boy, boy uh, Y A Dunn. Kids. Just Kez. <laughs> Not Kez, like the shoe, but Kez, you feel me? So I've been, knowing, I've been knowing these boys since, like, I think there's, like, a grade above me, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't never really talk. When we, we talk, with, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never really, like, we kept it cool, you know what I'm saying? Every time I see niggas, you know what I'm saying, you know, get a little head and that type of shit. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I got, I got four questions outlined. So, like, first question, like, we're going to go around, like, when did you get into music and like what made you like motivated you to get into this shit so you can like this? Well, I mean, I always been into music like my whole life, but I ain't really start taking it serious to probably like high school. But I've been rapping like since middle school, but I've been into music my whole life. Yeah. Well, who's your like person you look up to? As far as music? Yeah, like any genre. Genre, um, R&B. I love R&B, but um, hip hop, of course, or uh, rap. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I chose. But I love R&B and blues and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I, like I believe hip hop rules the world. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the powerhouse in the world. Everybody, I feel like people like want to share like shit. Oh, like black people want to do hip hop, but you know, you look at all the other cultures. Like yeah. everybody want to do it. That's something that we can claim. Exactly. Yeah. We started that shit. We run yeah. that like it's a, it's a fact. Like we run that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, what made you get into music type shit? Well, first off, I started writing about two years ago. And then about a year ago, I really started putting in that studio time and really started finding that love and that passion for it. What made me start was, you know, I need. I felt like I needed a way to express myself. Because I, I, I would always do some type of art, but I ain't never just play with those words and see what I was really feeling. But and music was a way to express that in a way that I never had before. For sure, man. It's tough out there, man. Good story, bro. Well, really, I started doing music. I used to always, you know, play around with it, but I actually did my first song back in like twenty fifteen. That was my first time in the studio. And uh, it was my boy uh Suave Moro. Yeah. Quick, you know, quick question and, um, about that. Uh, what's your, what's your favorite verse from that song? If you can remember, my favorite verse. Yeah, uh, is DJ, DJ, but my girls get the D. I like the J and wrote. Uh, hold on. Okay, see. running back. DJ, but my girls get the G. I like the J and wrote. I wrote a J and like that with ease. Car full of smoke, got dropped the top of the debris. <laughs> oh shit! But it's a lot more than that, man. Like, and that's that, that's yeah. one of my favorite verses I ever wrote. To be honest. Damn. Hey, send me that shit, bro. Send me that shit. I want to listen will. to it. <laughs> yeah, what, what about you, my guy? Uh, man, what really got me into music, uh-huh. uh, I would say it was my people, my cousins. Yeah. They really put me on to, like, hip-hop, the old school, the classics. Yeah. But then they also wanted me to be versatile, so they really put me on to, like, different music, like, to be the concerts and stuff, like, R&B concerts and stuff like that, so... This entire time, I've just been, like, going through life, like, man, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah. Just unknowingly knowing that I want to do music. And so it took that boy and Rosa and K. Deuce to actually, like, make me sit down and be like, man, I want to actually help these boys and, like, create something bigger and just be a part of that. 
But that's special, man. That's a special thing, man. Music in this world, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So I got a question. Like I'm, I'm going to go around and mix it up. So if you could say this man right here, if you could, like, put him next to, like, another rapper in the game right now, who would you compare him to? Ooh. Ooh. Right now? Uh-huh. Ooh. I'm, I want to give him, I want to give him Andre so bad, but at the same time. <laughs> I want to put myself in that boat. Man. Man. It's kind of like Crit mixed with a little bit of Andre. Okay, I can see that. And he got a little bit of Pimp C in him too. Like, what do you think about that? I mean, of course. I mean, it's an honor for him to say that, but I know that I couldn't rap with them boys at all. That's why I'm in this era right here. But uh, that's who I listen to, though. You know what I'm saying? So, so they probably definitely influence you, like your sounds and shit. Uh, who would you Who would you say that he reminds you of in the game? Him, yeah. man. Whoever Future Engineer is. <laughs> but because because he when he hears something he gonna go through with it mm-hmm. and it's gonna sound crisp and it's gonna sound good really the best engineer I didn't heard yep. that's why I'm in here right now yes. uh, but, uh, it's it's right there. Okay. all right so describe my man right here how oh, you got it if I had to describe why he done it we'll put him <laughs> up against another rapper let's see Oh no, this dude got a real unorthodox style. He got like he got Hell that yeah. dumb Kennedy in him. <laughs> but then he I don't know. That's probably who I would say the closest to him. It'd be Dom Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite artist. You uh, you fuck with that Dom burst off of that dip, that double up? Man. That shit's crazy. Man. That shit <laughs> Dom, I know Dom to the T. Yeah. That's my man. What's your what's your favorite line from that song from Dom? From any song? No, nah, from that song, double up. Oh man. Ooh, uh, I can't say, bro. You can't say. I can't say a favorite line from there. Hey, right, so so many, right? So many good shits in that nah, song. Nah, man, it's just. <laughs> you don't know it. I do know that song, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of my favorite line. I really don't know it word for word, so I can't say line for line. If y'all, if y'all, if y'all listen to this. If you heard the song Double Up, comment y'all favorite line so my man can get it right. Definitely, <laughs> definitely comment y'all favorite line. <laughs> help him out. Help me, help me out. Help that boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like, who would you describe my man as right here? Hmm. King Leak. Yeah. Ugh. Man, like, this man is like. MLK type shit, right? Yeah, like, he, he speak nothing but. For real, yeah. He actually, he actually sent me this guy named uh, Toby, uh-huh. and like just the way he speak and like his message, mm-hmm. I think, and like just the way he is, he got a different. Lee got a real different style, so that's like kind of yeah. close to how that might be. Yeah, no wee Yeah, I was there. Okay. Toby, no wee Yeah. Shout out to that boy. Real. And uh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's who, that's probably who I would compare him to as far as just his message, cause like they come with a message yeah. like style. Always gotta share that message, man. Or um, I'll go even way back to uh, you probably remember this. Remember on YouTube days, we used to be chilling watching. Uh, you talking about that uh, the rap no. stuff? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I'm gonna let you stick to that thing. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ain't never seen the hot size, y'all gotta watch the hot size video, man. That's middle school. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Shout out to Toby. Your boy before uh, Toby. Man, you're not helping me at all. Ooh. Damn. Dude. Dang, I lost the name that quick, bro. Okay, man, it's all good. It on, <laughs> so, uh, what's. I'm gonna go around, so. What's like one word to describe your music? You know what I'm saying? Just one word. I would say. They waiting for you. I have no <laughs> clue. Is somebody help them out? Weird. Weird. Why you say it's weird, bro? <laughs> because man, it is kind of weird. It's kind of weird because y'all would never think that these kind of like match up <laughs> like y'all y'all ver- like how y'all rap is so different 
like Rosef is aggressive. You you have have conscious but have interacted shit. <laughs> you completely spiritual and woke with some shit, and you about ratchet but deep meaning with the shit. So it's kind of like weird that it's just all like connected. So that's why I say weird, dog. We gotta find some way to put that shit together. You feel me? Shit, fuck. What about you, my guy? One word to describe my music. Yeah. Shit, magnanimous. <laughs> I told you that boy come with it. Damn, that must be word of the day type shit. Hey, look, with it. What that, hey, what that shit mean? Hey, put me on this. You gotta go find your dictionary for that one. Oh, shit, I got. I, I can only lead you to the water, my friend. I can't, can't make me drink, right? I cannot. I'm gonna have to download a dictionary app after I leave here right today, for real, for real. Magnanimous. Well, what's one word to describe your music, my guy? Oh, uh, one word to describe my music. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's a good question. I'm gonna just say a, a vibe. A vibe. Yeah. So you feel like people, like people of any like, like demographic like, I, I, and vibe for anybody. anybody. Like if you want to hear some turnt stuff, you can hear. If you want to hear some deep stuff, you can hear. If you want to hear some melody, you can hear. I got music for whatever you want. You got stadium music. Man, whatever you want, I got rave. He got twerk too. Man, twerk, whatever man, you want to do. Man. You want to do a mosh pit? I got song. Whatever you want to do, <laughs> we gonna do it. Let me see. Let me see you do disco though. Disco, whatever you want to do. I got blues. I got give me. I'm more than R&B and all. Give me like a give me a disco country mix type shit. You do that? Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get it. Pick it up. I call my. <laughs> I call my boy Billy Bob Joe come in here, you feel me? We gon' <laughs> <laughs> eat. Hell yeah. Eat on whatever. <laughs> and y'all gon' fuck with it. Yeah, Guaranteed. Y'all hear that shit? Y'all heard it here first, man. Y'all gon' fuck with it. All right. So yeah, so yeah, everybody listen, this part one of the interview, you know what I'm saying? We all missing a few people, right? Oh, we're just, just missing one. one. Just one. Yeah. It's Rosa, right? Rosa, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with that song, No Debate, man. Mm, that man. that bit uh the dude what's his name I fuck with uh Chowder J yeah he did the video the, the, the visuals, visuals the visuals was crazy yeah the niggas going through the eight ball man. and shit type yeah. shit them effects man he know yeah. how to do some stuff yeah so like say y'all shot a video for that song that y'all was just making right we ain't gonna play the song you know what I'm saying we ain't gonna release it yet but say I made a video for that shit like what would the video be what would the concept be y'all gonna come up come up with that shit. Man, for that video right there, <laughs> anything. It, I really just want it to be like, we can go to a hotel and have it going dumb at the pool. Yeah. Like, man, just have anything going. Yeah. Like, but look, I, just, my team, look, I was watching a fifty. I was watching the Fifty Cent in the club video the other day, and how he was upside down. Like he was. That's how I want to be on my scene. Like oh, yeah. if I shoot oh, yeah. video, that's how I want my next scene to be. Me upside down. Okay, yeah. Okay, bye. That's, That's some it. stuff. What you got? Man, I want to be in a low rider, and you can just, I'm in a backseat by myself, <laughs> and the car just going, and I'm going to get a Hey! <laughs> cool, lad. <laughs> That boy okay, cool. Man, I want you on, kid. For real. That boy cool. Man, I'm in a low Smooth kid. as fuck. You going to go out west for that? If I need to, mm-hmm. yeah, nah, I like I like driving through Arkansas with them mountains. Yeah. Wow, me. <laughs> but I know. For real. Uh, so like, especially fall. Oh yeah, it's some good weather out there and shit. So like, what y'all what y'all feel about the city's music? Like, you know, y'all ain't gotta say nobody names and shit. I ain't trying to start no beef type nothing like that. But what y'all <laughs> what y'all think about the music Man, and all? You know, I ain't gonna. Go Can I go first? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I'm going to say one thing about street park music. First of all, we got talent. For real. We got a whole lot of talent. Everybody got a lot of different different lanes. But, you know, we got that that down south music, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, which is which is native to our people. But it's not versatile. I'm going to say that. It's not it's, versatile. I feel like it's like all the, all the same type of shit. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's where we come in because we're trying to give street park or down south a new, a new sound. Some versatility, you know, but that's all I got to say. Well, what I got to say is a <laughs> lot of our artists in Shreveport. I ain't yeah. going to fake on it. And they they really pretty much kind of the same, but it's a lot of them different, too. Because, like, I know a lot of different people that be doing stuff, you know. Yeah. 
and uh, it's just about the like you say the down south yeah. it's like it ain't really something that people really f can see from no. other from other states and other places I don't think so so really it's just the getting out there mm. like if, if if somebody at Shreveport make it and get out there and they want to bring some more people with them everybody from Shreveport can eat that's mm -hmm. how I feel you think it's going to be y'all? Man, I feel like it can be us for sure. Yes. It's gonna be us and everybody. And everybody. It's everybody. Everybody, everybody yeah. can make it's it. There's multiple bags out there. It's, it's, it's just not, about it's that time. Three one eight two one. It's not one bag. Hey, we gotta make that fucking joke go viral. Everybody be trying to get the bag, but it's multiple bags. It's not one bag. Remember that. Yes. yes. Dropping jewels. You know what I'm saying. Big facts. Man. Big facts. If you if you watch the whole video and you. Caught caught that jewel, comment that shit. You know what I'm saying? I got some for you if you comment. You feel me? Yeah, don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, this cause y'all in your element right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all vibing yeah, type shit. He in, in, in the cut. Yeah. That boy in the cut. <laughs> Shout out to the boy. Yeah, go for it. Man, people in the city. Yeah. They're crazy, man. With talent, like their ideas, like. But it is it is the fact of no one really wants to like just take that extra step to help someone. Yeah. And that 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 really holds us back as a whole. Cause like there's a lot of people out here that that know that know of people that go hard too, but sometimes won't even ask them to be on a song or, or fuck with their music just because, man, I I don't want you to take my shine type thing. That's, and that's that's crazy. I know, man. It's it's kind of sad, but. By all means, man, any artists out there that want to work with us, we got you. We want your help. We want to expose everyone out here that has talent. Don't give us no bullshit or nothing like that. By all means, man, come with your spirit. Come with your soul. Yeah. Put your soul back in the street port. Come on. But You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Deep. Don't have to put some sound effects on that one. <laughs> Don't have to put some sound effects <laughs> on that one. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What you got, man? What you got to say about the music? I mean, basically what, what everybody else said, I mean, it's, it is a lot of talent, um, but it's just the fact that uh, when one person get on or when one person feel like they on, yeah, that's all that matter. That what it's, that's what it's seeming like. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it is still on us, but... It's harder when you're not in a, a, a bigger city or a city that's looked at because there ain't that many opportunities. Yeah. So it makes it seem like you got to go out the city to do something. Nah, I don't think but it's but not, no, it's not. You don't necessarily have to do that. So it's just about everybody. Well, not it don't have to be everybody. It just got to be a group of people that's gonna come together, that's gonna make their push to to bring the light to the city. That's all it takes. The light once it's light on the city, then it's on us. Absolutely.